I've had somebody offer a thousand, but I kind of stay want to stay be at fifteen, but I would take twelve fifty. Did you have a big crowd when you opened up? Uh, it wasn't a big crowd, a few people. Yeah. California raisins, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. You got a lot more inside? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one of them things where you're going to have to take a day and look through everything. Yeah. It's going to take you a while. Trust me. What is this? Oh, wow. Didn't even know I had this. No. Nice. Kai. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I didn't even know I had it. That's wow. That's the way it goes, man. You just buy and buy and buy, and then years ago to get on the road, it's like, where did I get this thing? Yeah. Hey, what's going on, man? You're gonna love it in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael and I have done a lot of business back and forth. Oh, have awesome. yeah, yeah. That's it. He's got he's got a lot of stuff. In oh there. yeah. Yeah. So feel free, feel free to go inside. <laughs> he's usually coming to my place. I'm coming yeah. to his place this time. Be rebuilding this place. So Are you? We have, to, we have to get everything out to wow. some point. That's a big job. It is. This is quite the book collection, Michael. Uh, yeah, the Goosebump books. I have like uh, 700, uh, about 800 Goosebump books, and then I have DVDs, VHSs, a lunchbox, a long clock. I'm trying to sell everything as a collection. Um, what are you asking for the whole collection? Well, I started at two, and I mean, I have I've had somebody offer a thousand, but I kind of stay want to stay be at fifteen, but I would take twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Nobody's come. Someone's hit me at a thousand, but not at twelve fifty yet. So. so that's all these DVDs in here too. Um, DVDs, uh, VHSs, cards, wow. um, board games, alarm clock. I've never seen a Goosebumps collection like that. Like, the amount of books you got over there is wild. Um, all, according to what everybody tells me, I was like, dude, you might have, like, the biggest collection in the States. So. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I guess that's a small little win. <laughs> and, yeah, I mean, everything's kind of, like, on top of... I mean, it's going it, it. I mean, it's going to have to... You're, you'll probably have to take a day and, like, literally... um go through each and every box because they're they're filled that's the fun part though is the digging yeah you know that yeah, that is fun <laughs> I, think I, I think i'm all you're set all set okay that's all you found in there oh i found plenty more i'm just like oh this is all i can like mentally handle right now <laughs> right i know <laughs> Good yeah, you too. Good luck to you.
but yeah, um, do some research on the Goose Run collection. And, yeah, man. Um, if you want to uh, hit me with the number. Um, Are you but, selling that little MIDI player thing? The what? That little MIDI. Uh, you selling this guy? Um, I, I will. Okay. I just I don't know what it goes for. So. I saw about fifty when I was looking online. Okay, so does it have can... a charger with it? It might. I'm not sure if it does or not. Yeah, I'll just add it to the stack and figure something out. The the DVD VHS combos, man. Those like I don't know if you sold any of those. But... Mm -hmm. Oh, they do good. Oh, what? <sighs> They do. I'm about 50-50 with them. Really? If I buy 10, five of them are like fully functional and working, which is fine as right. long as you get them at the right price. You kind of just kind of bake that in, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's why I always prefer buying a good lot of stuff instead of right. just one or two things. It's like I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket. Exactly. I feel you on that. It's, I mean, you've done this long enough. It's the way it goes, you know. Yeah. You're not going to win on every single thing. It's no. impossible. But... You doing this uh, tomorrow too? Um, uh, yeah. I'll Are you? Here I'll um, I took some pictures. Yeah. If, you, if you're cool, that I'll um, put it on my Instagram and say if anybody's local, hit me up. I'm not gonna put your address, but if they message me, mm -hmm. I'll give them the address and let them know. How late are you gonna be here today and tomorrow? Um, four today and probably four tomorrow. Four o'clock. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll put it out. I know at least uh, two or three people that would want to come check out the stuff and okay. hopefully take some stuff off your hands. All right, so I got some DVDs, the game. I got two of the DVD. This is the VHS. This is that MIDI thing. Um, it's like a TV pack, mm -hmm. Teletubby thing. Squishmallows, cards, and DVDs. Where would you be at for it? Be at 80. I can do that. Does that work? Appreciate you working with me, man. No problem, man. Here you go. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome, buddy. Good luck to you. Back at the shop, I went to my buddy Michael's sale, and he had way more stuff than I expected. That place was absolutely packed with toys, vintage stuff, video games, like all kinds of stuff. And he had that insane Goosebumps collection, which was really, really cool. But a handful of things. I got some DVDs. Uh, Wizard of Oz 4-disc Emerald Collection. I love Wizard of Oz, so I'm keeping that. Um, Oliver Stone Collection. I might keep this, too. A lot of great movies on here, obviously. Wall Street, Platoon. I really like The Doors with Val Kilmer, JFK, Natural Born Killers. So I might keep this one. I might sell it. I'm not sure. Got a couple Squishmallows for my kiddos. They love these things. They can't get enough of them. Got this MIDI player. That is going... I'm around like 40 bucks it looked like i thought this was super cool this is one of those things that probably has no value just because nobody's going to use it you know what i mean um <laughs> this is an activates transmitter that works with the vhs tape so you've got a, a radio cartridge uh introductory video and a transmitter for this thing there's no teletubbies in there but i just thought it was so cool that they had teletubbies on here so i guess they made these active mates characters that had these screens on them. Um, so they made them for Arthur, Barney and Teletubbies. I didn't look this thing up I, again. It might be worth nothing, but it was cool. Wanted to pick it up uh, a couple DVD sets. Uh, these are wild America, Marty Stouffer's. Those are going anywhere from like 25, 30 bucks a piece. Pokemon cards. 
didn't look them up, but anytime you can find sealed cards, that's really cool. I've never seen this booster bundle, uh, but I thought it was interesting and it hasn't been opened. Wing Commander 3 PC game, doing the plastic. Then I got two DVD recorders and a VCR. DVD recorders you can do really well with, uh, as long as they're fully working. Kind of can be a pain to put them through all their paces and make sure they work. They work, uh, but definitely uh, combo players, DVD recorders you can do well with. Uh, VCRs too. This one doesn't have the um, remote. If these are working, I'd say anywhere from 50 to 75 each. Not this guy right here. I'd say this VCR is probably more like 30 without the remote. Um, but yeah, for the recorders, that's maybe what we're talking about. So it looks like one of them has... Actually, they both might have the remote. I think there might be a remote under here. Um, and like I told Michael, anytime I buy VCRs, combo units, DVD recorders, whatever it is... I go into it with the mindset that it's a 50-50 chance if it's going to work. So if I don't pay a lot for it, it's not a big deal. Like in the grand scheme of things, you know, the odds kind of work out that half of them work and I can make my money on those. So yeah, if one or two of these don't work, I'm not going to be super upset. It's not a big deal. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>